name is Jennifer Slater. Um, I'm a second year student with the Archives and Archives Management Path as well. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Sybil and the Times for having us here today. Um, I've been asked to leave about my summer internship. Uh, I hope it kind of helps anybody in the area. Um, I spent my summer working as a record management intern with the Hudson's Bay Company. Um, I would say it's, it really was a great privilege to work with actually one of the oldest companies in Canada, and it was uh, great to work with some of the management and records management staff there. They were really great. Um, I came to this position by way of actually applying for the Hudson's Bay Foundation Award that's offered to the I School in the winter semester. So if anyone's interested, I highly recommend applying. Um, it actually offers uh, positions in the uh, culture and heritage uh, part of the company uh, as well. So I think that you guys can also apply for the same award for that section. Um, uh, and you're given the option to accept an internship as part of the award, and I accepted and began my uh, work in April. Um, just to kind of an idea of what I did while I was working there. Um, my primary project was to describe and create fine aids for the corporate secretary series and the real estate series within the HBC phone. Um, prior to my work, it was pretty much unknown. There was thousands of boxes. They actually don't know what is in the box. They know it's in the series, but not where it is. And so it's a lot of time and money for the company to, uh, it costs money every time they pull in these boxes to find one record. So it's, it's really necessary in kind of public settings to know where things are. Um, while working with the corporate secretary series, I also identified uh, corporate minutes, uh, compared these to existing kind of databases of what they knew was where, and uh, set these up to be sent for digitization for project for legal purposes, so they actually have access to these things rather quickly when they're in legal meeting. Um, um, so, yeah, what points are boxes? I guess they identified duplicate records and made recommendations for disposition uh, if they were needed. Um, and I also collected, arranged, and described current records in the audit department um, and prepared these for transfer facilities. So I got kind of a, a range of ideas of what was available, kind of the processes they worked with. Um, just, just for me, like one of the greatest aspects of my job that I really liked was I got to touch and work with records hands on. Um, I know a lot of, it's an archives records management, and any of the past, really, it's a lot of necessary introductory theory. Um, and it, it did help me quite a bit while I was working there, but you do kind of need to get uh, hands-on arrangement and description experience, and I found this was really, really great for me. Um, my day basically began in a cubicle that held a desk, and every Monday, 150 bankers boxes would be piled in my, my cubicle. Um, those boxes were dusty, full of everything from share certificates from the 1900s to uh, corporate minutes of the board of directors. So, um, really, the, by the end of my project, I had to describe roughly 1,200 boxes. You need to get an idea of the pace. It, well, in class, it's great that you have a lot of time to think about ideas of original order or arrangement or even classification or the other paths. Um, actually, getting hands-on experience, you get the idea of the pace you need to have because you need to get quite a bit done kind of as fast as you can. Um, Kind of bit of advice, I'd say uh, don't hesitate to ask questions and engage in conversations with your bosses, or if you're contacting people, don't hesitate to contact them initially, because they are really very responsive. Um, these are people who are, have been in your shoes, they've developed an important perspective on the job market and the field, um, and while you're in their office, really don't hesitate to ask them about their experiences, because they are very warm and welcome about talking about when they, they graduated. Um, my boss, uh, Kelly McIsaac, is the head of HBC Records Management, so she was a bit in, title was a bit intimidating for me to kind of get to know her. But I had a lot of really great talks with her, and she was very open about talking. But you know, when she graduated, this herself actually was a library student, and she started the records management program. It was one of the beginning uh, people working in the records management program, so it is still very diverse after she graduated. Um, just kind of the courses that I found very useful. Um, I actually came into the program really with a focus on archives. No, I really had no interest in records management in particular. Um, but I did take the required INM 2175 course, and I found that was actually one of the most helpful things, um, even for archives, but just working with the company in general. It was great. Um, 
that the trends in systems knowledge did kind of help, but really this course gives you a really good foundational understanding of how a company works. Um, it talks about how records are created and treated in the current context and reality that actually most people in the organization you work with, no matter what kind of information profession you're in, don't really know what you do. Um, in my case, I worked in an office with two records managers. Um, everyone else who worked there were corporate lawyers, uh, real estate executives, or uh, in accounting. So they, you know, you get to have the job. You organize my files, right? Because they work your files. You know, so it, any information program, it gives you kind of a good idea of um, what kind of records are being created and really in a records management situation, it's a really function, not archival formality, which is kind of a good idea of kind of getting away from the archive strictness. Um, I found also 1331, which is the introductory archival literature description, very helpful. Um, HBC didn't really use uh, a formal RAD descriptive system, which we really talked about in the course, but it is very useful just to get an idea of general description and what you need to pick out, and you can pick it out much more quickly than if you kind of just kind of weave through everything all at once. Um, so that's about it for my summer job. Um, if anybody has any questions,